हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट Vitamin D dependent rickets. Vitamin D dependent rickets do not respond to vitamin D therapy. Consider there are two types of therefore there are two types of vitamin D resistant. So these these vitamin D dependent rickets they do not they do not respond to vitamin D treatment. Therefore they are considered as types of vitamin d resistant rickets there are two types of vitamin d dependent rickets vitamin d dependent rickets type 1 and vitamin d dependent rickets type 2 in vitamin d dependent rickets type 1 is an autosomal recessive disease here there is mutation in genes of one alpha hydroxylase because there is a defect in the mutation in the gene of one alpha hydroxylase the vitamin d is not formed so the calcium can be low or normal phosphate can be low at 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 is normal or high here 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 in the presence of one alpha hydroxylase it forms 125 dihydroxy vitamin d3 but here because of one alpha hydroxylase deficiency this 125 dihydroxy vitamin d3 is reduced and also you will see that there is hypocalcemia is also seen and because of hypocalcemia parathormone levels increases so parathormone levels are high treatment of vitamin d dependent rickets are calcitriol 0.5 to 2 micrograms per day is given in vitamin d dependent rickets type 1 with thank you and thank you for watching